here's a question I get asked every once in a while and it has to do with how can they get away using 2x4 for interior door headers and uh, realistically it is quite simple if you take a look at the top of the wall there's a 1x4 plate on top not a 2x4 and there's a gap between the roof truss and the top of the wall and of course they get away with it because the roof trusses are designed to carry the weight of the roof to all the way to the end of the walls um, that they sit on so most of the time the interior of the trusses the inside span let's say um, realistically is going to be non-bearing now this isn't going to be the case all the time every once in a while you're going to have shear walls and stuff like that so it isn't like you can just put a two by four anywhere inside the house but uh, if you do run into a situation where you have a non-bearing wall um, and you feel comfortable putting it in then by all means knock yourself out and keep in mind that what I'm telling you right now I'm not suggesting you use a 2x4 for every situation on the interior absolutely not these homes uh, this is a newer home probably built about five years ago and it's designed by an engineer so um, that's why they're using two by four it's not because someone just figured hey you know what this is going to be a non-bearing wall so let's go ahead and put a two by four in here so keep that in mind um, if you're planning on building anything in the future like this if you have an engineer okay it then by all means do it if not then i hate to say it you are on your own if you put a two by four in when it should have had something else so again this is why or how um, builders can actually get away using two by four for door headers um, on the interior and in some cases um, other openings also so there you have it that's it in a nutshell